Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to be talking about different ways in which flagella can be arranged around bacterial cells. Let's start briefly by talking about what flagella are. They are long tail-like appendages, like the ones pictured here, that are used for movement. So they're used for movement, um, otherwise called motility, uh, and they basically function like a propeller. Now in bacteria, they have a rotating motion. Whereas in other types of cells, like in eukaryotes, for example, the flagellum waves in kind of a whip-like motion. In bacteria, it rotates, so it really is like a, like a propeller. And it can rotate in a counterclockwise uh, direction in order to cause what are known as runs. And it can move in a clockwise direction to cause what are known as tumbles. And so this results in kind of like a random type of movement sometimes, um, but really it is quite directional. So they can move it in a counterclockwise direction in order to make long runs in a particular direction, or they can move it in a clockwise way to cause them to sort of tumble around and change direction before switching to do a run in a different direction. And these are composed of the protein known as flagellin in bacterial cells. And so now let's talk about some of these arrangements. There's several possible arrangements here. The first one we'll talk about is atrichus. A means none. That prefix A means none, and so that's a cell that does not have any flagellum at all. And then the next possible arrangement is monotrichus. Mono means one, and this is when you have a cell with one flagellum. Amphitrichus, amphi means both, so amphitrichus cells are those that have a flagellum on both ends. Then there's also lophotrichus, lotho meaning bundle uh, or tuft. So bundle or tuft for lophotrichus, you can see that there is a bundle or tuft of flagella at one end. Now remember, when we have one flagellum, it's flagellum ending in U-M for singular. If we have two or more, then we call them flagella, that's the plural terminology. And the fifth possible arrangement is peritrichus. Peri meaning all around or surrounding. And so you can see in a peritrichus arrangement, there are a flagella all around the surface of the cell. Now, you can occasionally see um, bacteria that have a tuft on both ends, and sometimes they're called amphitrichus and sometimes they're called lophotrichus. There's not a great term to mean a tuft on either end. Um, but these are the five major types of arrangements. If you're interested in learning more about bacterial cells, for example, the different kinds of shapes that they can have, then please see my video on the different uh, shape classifications of bacteria. If you want to learn about their cell walls for gram-positive cell walls and gram-negative cell walls, then I also have a video on that topic for you to check out. So thanks today for watching Biology Professor, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!